So next we're going to take a look at the footer. This is this part here, which is always displayed on the bottom of your online store website. The first thing that I want to do is add some links to our legal pages. So to our refund policy, our private policy, terms of service, and so on. So what we're gonna do is create those pages first. So we're gonna go back to our Shopify dashboard right here. Then we're gonna go to settings and then we're gonna go to policies right here on the bottom. Now the cool thing with Shopify is that they already have some templates for different policies that are required to put on your online store. So what you can do is simply click on create from template right here and then they will create a refund policy for your specific store with your email and so on. However, this is just a template and you wanna make sure to read it through and add all the things that are missing or remove some things that don't apply to your specific business. You can do the same thing with your private policy right here and also with your terms of service. But again, this isn't like legal advice, this, these are just templates. So make sure to actually read it through and adjust them to your business. Then on the bottom, the shipping policy, you're gonna to have to add manually because this is really specific to your online store. So once you've done all of that, you can click on save. And now we wanna make our legal pages show up here in the footer of our website. So what we're gonna do is go back to the dashboard, then close out of these settings right here. Then we're gonna to go to online store and then to navigation. Here, we're gonna select our footer menu right here. And then the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete the search function here in the footer. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna need this. So um, I'm gonna delete this and then I'm gonna click on add menu item right here. And then under link, I'm gonna simply scroll down, go to policies right here. And then I'm gonna select all of the policies that I've just created. So private policy, terms of service and so on. Then once all of the policies are added, we're gonna see them right here under menu items. Then we can click on save here on the top and go back to our um, Shopify editor. And now we can see them in our footer menu. So these are links that people can click on and then they will get to the private policy site, which currently looks like this.